Today we're going to make gold, specifically 2.3 grams of gold. Here I have 4.6 grams of chlorolauric acid dissolved in 15 milliliters of water. And here I have approximately 8 grams of sodium metabisulfite dissolved in 30 grams of water. And this is, of course, distilled water. So once we have this set up, please do not touch the gold chlorate. As is it, it is an acid and it is toxic. Now, what we're going to want to do, take a pipette and slowly, one drop at a time, and I cannot stress this enough, one drop at a time, add it to the chlorolauric acid or the gold chlorate. And the reason is, this is an exothermic reaction. It will produce heat and it produces toxic fumes. So please do this under a fume hood. And it also produces hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. So let's make sure you can see this. You see instantly the black. That is the gold dropping out of solution. Make sure you can get this. So, proceed carefully. Focus. There we go. And you can see our solution is darkening quite a bit. Stir there. Now, I've dirtied my pipette, so I have to get another one. But you can see that it's clearly binding and dropping out the gold. So, we have another pipette. Let's continue adding this. Careful to monitor the reaction, make sure it doesn't go nuts. Do not stick metal in this. Again, this is an acid. It will bind to anything you touch, especially your fingers. Uh, and you can see it turning completely black. This is gold in the solution. sure that we add it all. At this point I'm going to slowly start pouring it in. There we go. And yes, those are gold flakes on top. And again, do this outside or under a fume hood, away from anything. This produces extremely noxious, noxious fumes, toxic and you do not want to breathe them. Very nice. That's exactly what we want. Continue adding the sodium metabisulfite till it's all gone. I'm gonna to have to dissolve the rest of this, add a little bit more distilled water. And when we're done, this is what we're going to have. And we'll let it set for about an hour to drop all the solution out. And I'll pick back up from there. Okay, so I've taken the gold that we had, placed it in a crucible. Now, it was sitting in a hydrochloric acid, so the first thing I had to do is decant some of it. But what I did was simply put it in there and let it boil away. 
you can see the small black spots around the top of the crucible is gold and it's currently at 760 degrees Celsius. When it hits 1100, the gold will melt. Hydrochloric acid boils away and we'll have a bead of gold. Okay, so we're ready to do this. As you can see, our temperature is 1071 degrees Celsius, 72, it's moving up. It's max out at 1100. That is above the melting point of gold. It's been above that for about five minutes. Enough to ensure that it's melted. I have two, 1800 milliliters of water and a glove and actually a wet rag because this is extremely hot. So I'll let you, I'll let you see it. See that? So what I'm going to do is take it out, dump it into the water, uh, and we'll have the gold. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed, but we'll give it a shot. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we're doing here. Nope, it's melted. It is solidified in there. See it? There we go. There's our hunk of gold. So I'm going to let it get back up and then dump it out. But as you can see, there is our gold. Okay. We'll turn this off. Ooh. It's hot. There's our gold. So I'm gonna let this cool down and see if I can't get it out without cracking the porcelain. Okay, unfortunately I couldn't show you, but uh, there is our end result. Um, burn the end of my glove. And uh, this thing is still really hot. We're gonna let that uh, settle down a little bit. But what we ended up with is a very nice chunk of 24 karat gold. Just a minute, I'll weigh this up. Okay, there's our chunk. Just uh, pulled it out. There it is. Nice, beautiful, shiny gold. And let's see what this thing weighs. As soon as I can get this off of here. There. It's zeroed out. We have zero. And that is spot on. We started out with 4.6 grams of chloraloric acid or gold chloride and we ended up at 2.3 grams solid gold thanks for watching